this balloon has been floating around the house since my birthday. since yeah right around Natalie's birthday right after Christmas and uh, she even got tired of it when hung it outside and tied it to the porch for a while during like a storm and it survived the storm <laughs> Father, I'm not good at being funny on cue. I noticed. Can I get the ball? Can it affects your voice a lot more than it affects <laughs> mine. Come here. No, that's your rope. Get your ball. Yeah. Come here. I had a friend who took too much helium one time at girls' camp, and she like passed out and her head on concrete. <laughs> Poor thing. You don't want it? You take some more. You're funnier than me. I'm not funny. I'm just stupid. It's messed up in the head. I probably should have checked first if it's okay to do this when you're like breastfeeding. I don't want to make him sick. I don't know how it would. But... Facey funny? Facey funny? Come here. She's like, who are you? <laughs> we could try singing with this stuff. Yeah. In the midst of the evening, <laughs> when the life turns down the lights. <laughs> he's like, whatever, Mom and Dad. You crazy. And he's like, please play with me. I'm dying for attention. We should start doing helium covers of our favorite songs. Oh my gosh, that'd be funny. What's a good one? Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street lights, people. <laughs> hey, YouTube. So today is Wednesday the 20 something? 22nd. <laughs> he, he is officially three weeks old today. Three and weeks. we just had his doctor's appointment. So, three week update. What's fun about our baby? He is tall, apparently. His weight is in the top 25% of babies, and he's, they showed us like these charts. He's following this uh, one of the weight gaining charts just like perfectly, but then they showed us the chart for his height. He's 23 inches long, and so they showed us a chart for his height and babies his size like the tallest that their chart goes to is 22 inches so he was off the chart so they said he might be tall someday we'll see he was born at 21 i mean we were both born at 21 as well so i don't know apparently he's tall though or he might be tall he's tall we'll right see. now <laughs> we'll see he's tall right now the other thing is that both doctors who saw him mentioned that he was very strong. The first one just said that he was mm -hmm. kept talking about muscle tone and stuff and then the second doctor came in and he had his head up. He likes to pick his head up and look around quite a bit and he has since the first day in the hospital. I think we've talked about that. Um, but now he'll do it as we walk around the house or quite often when we're burping him. He's asleep right now. But um, So one of the doctors came in and he was doing that and the doctor said that uh, they don't usually see the behavior he was showing till they're about two months old. So. He's strong. Strong from the womb. <laughs> That's why his name is Tiberius. Tiberius. <laughs> he has to be strong. <laughs> a name like that. He's not allowed to be a weakling and have a name like Tiberius. So what are his likes and dislikes at this point? He likes boob juice. Boob juice? He really does? <laughs> he does not like asking for boob juice and then having to wait? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, we've barely tried a pacifier with him today, and he doesn't seem Every time we give it to him, he spits it out I'm pretty cool quick. I'm cool with that. 
So I spit out things. my pacifier too. Like my brother and sister took one, but I wouldn't take a pacifier. So it's. I had fine. one, but I don't know how long I kept it. He's not so terribly fussy that we need one all the time. He gets fussy every day for a little bit, but it's really not that bad. He's really easy um, to please as long as he gets burped or he gets a little bit colicky, um, gets his diaper changed and gets fed. Um, he loves walking around the house and just bouncing and looking at everything. He picks his mm -hmm. head up and you can we've been able to see like his vision expanding because now he's starting to notice things and look at things that are you know five or six feet away when for a while it was only if it was like two or three feet away he's so spending more and more of the day awake and alert with eyes open and making cute faces and wanting to be like stimulated and entertained so and he's sleeping cool really see. well he sleeps 11 to 7 and he wakes up for about two feedings most of the time sometimes he wakes up for one feeding and then he wants to eat right as soon as he gets up at 7 so he's eating really well he's doing good he's a baby <laughs> aside from that he's just being a baby we love him he's just being a baby I think that's the end. That's the end. <laughs> it has been snowing for about 15 minutes here in Manitou Springs. It's supposed to snow all day today and all day tomorrow. And it looks like this. Already. Wow, it's coming down thick. You see, this, this is, I was only outside long enough to walk from the apartment down to the car. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go get diapers before we get snowed in for the weekend. It's a little nerve-wracking for me to sit in the back. I'm a pretty good driver in snow, and I prefer to drive. Nat's great in driving in snow too, but at least in the front seat I can see what's going on. Here I see this. Just all the sides of the windows, even though I just cleaned them off and we're driving, are already, uh, they're already filled with snow again. Our front window looks like this. I don't know if you can see much there. We can kind of make out the uh, the car up in front of us. But Tibbs needs diapers and it's supposed to snow for two days straight. And if this is what it's like 20 minutes in, we're gonna go get him diapers now and not wait. We walked into Target and you saw what it looked like. We walk out 15 minutes later and it's all but it hasn't all cleared up and it probably will snow again in just a few minutes, but it's all vanished and now there's just a layer of snow on everything. The weather here can be a bit erratic. So we're back and there's snow on the ground, definitely. Uh, but the sun is peeking out and this is how quickly it's melting. It's a little uh, flow going down the road pretty quick. I don't know if you can hear it trickling. Sounds like a small waterfall. Hello there YouTube. I want to welcome you to a new segment that we are going to be doing filming every Saturday. It will probably normally be out on Sunday. Now you're going to be seeing this segment a little bit later in the week because um, this past week we've been vlogging every day but um, we're a bit behind on processing and um, getting them out there so it'll be probably a couple days as we try and get caught up with everything till we put this one out. Nat is starting at least once a week showing some of her process. On Saturdays I'm going to be filming um, some of my process. I do the majority of the production. Nat will be here at times. She helps with production. She does some of the recording and the, uh, the vocal processing so she'll be here from time to time. I'm going to do this a little differently than a lot of producers. A lot of producers when they're showing their process they sit down with Ableton or with FL Studio etc and um, they show how they write a song. Now I still work in FL Studio mainly we've got a couple other programs I really like FL Studio um, but I'm not going to show it from there because that's not how I think about our music. I think that that comes just because of my own training. I started when I was young, I started with violin lessons and piano lessons. Then I got older and I had voice lessons and, uh, and guitar. And so I tend to play with instruments. And even when I was, I remember 12 sitting there and um, plunking out my own chords in the living room while my family was watching movies in the other room, you know. I, I would rather sit there and play with the piano at that point in time. And so that's where... Um, 
the writing of the music comes from for me. I tend to think more in the terms of like, if I had a piano in front of me, how would I put this together? So I'll be working a lot more on the keyboard um, to start with. Now at some point in time I might um, start doing screenshots of FL Studio. Um, I'm going to start with showing process and then in the next few weeks I'll add a section, a second part to this segment um, where I actually taught, I show maybe a preview of one of our songs and talk about why I'm processing it the way I'm processing it. Maybe I'll show some vocal processing or uh, mixing, etc. Um, but for now we're going to start here on the keyboard. So starting this coming Saturday we will be um, doing Silver Studio Sessions and we're going to start with chords. Just a little just a little hint. I love chords. I love building my own chords and that's where a lot of our music production starts at. Tune in this coming Sunday and you can start seeing more about how we write our music.